Hello, my name is Rick. Oh, ciao, my name is Millie. And this is episode 36. <laughs> 36. Of season two. Do. Of Yonks Ago. Ago. <clears throat> Apologies for my over Your haste. <laughs> <laughs> This is Yonks Ago, coming into your ears Now what are Yonks? They're kind of like years Just a father and a daughter who want to know All about some people from Yonks Ago Interesting people who did interesting stuff But about whom we don't know enough So we're gonna dig deep and find it all out Yonky doodlers know what we're all about Yonks Ago Hey, ho So 36, we're underway. Whoa. And uh, we're deep in the quarantine zone. Yeah, um, we are. I mean, who knows what the real rules are. It's all no. shades of grey out there. Just, But we're just, trying to... We're just chilling. I mean, you rarely leave the house at the best yeah. of times. Uh, even not in quarantine. Is this your best life? Yeah. It's not too shabby no. for the old mills. Dad doesn't have to go to school. I mean, it's so chill. School holidays anyway. Yeah. Uh, so it's sort of crossing over yeah. when you'd just be hanging around anyway. But there's really little to no pressure on you at the moment to yeah. go anywhere or do anything. I know. It's awesome. Because you can do it. Exactly. Um, I should get you outside every now and again just to get some sun on your skin. Yeah. No, I have been going outside. You're going to get mean? shingles. What do you mean? I have been going outside. Uh, you probably have. Uh, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, you've got a lot of... Um, you got a lot of things on the go. You're yeah. a you're a well-rounded citizen of the world. Yes. Um cuz look, Yonky Doodlers out there, you've supported this podcast through thick and thin and we appreciate each and every Thank one you. of you. Um and we've this is a purely audio format. Yeah. All you can do is hear us. I know. Um but during this quarantine period uh of isolation where we're yes. we're locked down in the in the house for uh, large portions of our life, uh we've also started Generating purely visual content. Yeah. The two of us, we've got an offshoot. Um, I know. It's so fun. Yeah. Um, we've just, I mean, Millie's always been good at the, what the kids call the TikTok dances. Always. Yeah. It only just starts. <laughs> as long as I've known her. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. She came out Since of the before womb. before I was walking. <laughs> she came out of the womb, hitting the woe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Dabbing on the haters. Yes. Um, and so, look, she's always been doing the do. Uh, yeah. And I've, you know, looked on enviously going, <laughs> oh, if only I had the moves. And. During this, you have the moves. What do you mean? Uh, and well, during this period, Millie has taken it upon herself to uh, teach me a thing or two about yep. the ways of the dance. I'm not professional. Uh, no, I'm just like I used to do dance classes, so I know rhythm and stuff. Yeah, you've got I just natural, teach him, and it's like basic. It's just like hand motions, pretty much. Yeah. Look, we don't want to under we don't want to undersell it. We don't want to oversell it. Yeah, but, but l- look, if you're looking for more content, hey, you can uh, hop on over. Yeah, I mean, you can get onto my Instagram. Yeah, go on his Instagram. I can't even remember what my name is. Like, uh, it's underscore Rick dot Brown underscore. Oh, thank you. For, I don't you're, worry. You're not my I'm, social media manager. Yeah. <laughs> um, or they could check out your TikToks. I don't know if you want to. Oh uh, yeah, it's Millie underscore Metherall. There you go. There you go. Um, so if you're, I have. 11 followers. Yeah, you do. Famous. <laughs> <laughs> Famous. Um, but look, this is the purely visual content that we're putting on the internet yeah. now. This one's cool. No, as a, not, <laughs> not, not, not like podcasting. Am I right? <laughs> Boomers. <laughs> uh, so we've got all facets covered. Yeah. Now all we need is a purely tactile thing that yeah. we put out the internet. We'll just oh. throw out some fabrics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And we've done everything. That is so funny. Um, what I like to think is that you can just have one of the one of the dancers on loop while you're listening to this podcast, yeah. uh, and see how well they go together. It could be like a Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, Wizard of Oz situation. We don't know. Uh, I reckon it'd be pretty solid. It's up to you to find out. Um, but these are all the ways you can in- appreciate um, our work on the internet. Yeah. Get out there, Yonky Doodlers! Exactly. Don't be shy. Uh, and look, if you're looking for something to do. Learn some of them dances. I know, right? I can't speak highly enough. Yeah. You work up a sweat. Yeah, oh, man. I mean, I'm an old man, so yeah, no, just no, getting no, up no. off the couch <laughs> gives me a little bit of a bead, <laughs> a, a fine sheen. <laughs> um, so doing actual choreography, yeah. I mean, I'm done and dusted for the day. But it's fun as well. It's so. fun for the whole family. And by yeah. the whole family, I mean you and me. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone else says to shut up and leave us alone. <laughs> I'm working on my Corrie. <laughs> 
Beautiful. Uh, well, that's the update on the internet um, and the world at large. Yeah. Uh, but it's not updating you at all on the life of Nancy Wake. Yeah, but that will soon change. Mate, she's back in France. We know yeah. that. She's yeah. been dropped in. Bro, it's been hectic lately. Tried to find Gaston. Gaston turned out to be a bit of a, was a, yeah, nah. bit of a dingus, yeah. <laughs> shall we say. Much like the Disney character, he was uh, uh, in, the inspiration for or from. I'm not sure which came first, Gaston or Gaston. You be the judge. It was Gaston. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Even as I said it, I knew it was Gaston. Yeah. Um, and yeah. met Gaston. Yeah, uh, met Gaston. And then got shuffled over to Henri II. Yes. Because this whole time they're yes. trying to – they're trying to um, figure out what all these Kelly gangs need yeah. so they can radio back to London yeah. and, and everyone's going, well, that'd be great. We can't wait for that to happen. Where's your radio operator? <laughs> and she's like, that is a great question. Yeah. Den Den, you know, he likes to make his own travel plans. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Until then, we're pretty useless. <laughs> uh, and so that's when Gaston's like, well, I'm not having it. No. Go hang out with Henri II. Henri II's a legend though. Yeah, and so they very much, they were not fans of Gaston. No. Huge fans of Henri II. Anyone got Henri, man? Mate. Nancy will like him. If you want to make friends with Nancy bloody (laughs) Wake. Change your name. change your name to Henri. Don't pretend you've changed your name. She'll know. Nancy knows lies. Yep. She's 80% lies. Yeah. So she can, like, what's the word, like, game... No, that's not it. Okay. Uh, I can't remember the phrase, but she, like, she recognises. Yeah. Because she is, she, you know. Yeah. If you're a liar, true, true, you're going to have true. to work pretty hard to pull one over yeah. Nancy bloody Wake. Yeah, but like why not change your name? Yeah, just change it. <laughs> Fill in the paperwork. <laughs> exactly. All right? And that way you won't be lying I know. and Nancy will be like, man, I like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if your name's not Henri, it better be Trev. Yeah. Otherwise, no, 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 no. There's only one Trev. There's only one. <laughs> Trev. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so that's where they are. They've, they're hanging out with Henri and they're liking the cut of Henri II's jib. Yes. Um, he was a former hotel executive. Of course he was. And they liked him because uh, no one in his Kelly gang came up with plans to uh, seduce, yep. rob and kill Nancy Wake. Oh, well, then they're which, pretty good. Which is where Gaston's Kelly gang really let themselves yeah. down. <laughs> To be fair, they did almost make it up to her by taking on her on a crime spree yeah, yeah. where she was like, I love this Robin stores. the best thing yeah. that's ever happened. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure she'll be looking for any excuse to go rob some stuff. Yeah. Um, and so hanging out with Henri and Henri II doesn't even make Nancy and Trev sleep in the forest. Oh. He's like, I'll put you up in a hotel. Nice. You know how Nancy loves yeah, a hotel. She does. So she's like, Henri II. <laughs> 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 Did I mention I was on a break? Because yeah. you are playing your cards right, easily, my friend. Like easily replaceable. Yeah. You could just like say this is my this is my husband Henri yeah. and everyone be like, Oh yeah. All of the like letterheads and stuff, the the Yeah, yeah. The stuff yeah, that yeah. he's got she's got his name stenciled exactly. onto. Just works. I know. Just transfer one on read to the other. <laughs> uh, if he keeps playing his cards right, I reckon he's in with a shot. Yeah. Um, and they're all like, well, this is great. Uh, all we need is Den Den. Yeah. Um, and he takes a while to show up. But at last, yes. Den Den arrives. Good on him. Uh, they're all very excited. It's Den Den. We can yeah. get this party Den started. Den. And Nancy's like, where have you been, Den Den? <laughs> and he's like, long story. Uh, I was living my rom com life. He was <gasps> he was pursuing just an amorous affair back in London. <laughs> got held up. He was like, I've got to see this through. I'll get to France when I get there. Yeah. Because this is going real good, me and <laughs> good this fella. On him. Um, good on him. Uh, so he was just living, yeah, just yeah. living it. Just, ble- just blessed. He's like, the walk and wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And then I'll go to France. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's a whole rom com there waiting to be told. Yeah. We, Spin off. Yeah, spin off. The, the Den Den, the Den Den um, Love Files. Yes. <laughs> uh, that almost brought Nancy Wake unstuck because everyone's yeah. like, no radio operator, you're useless. You're literally useless. Yeah. But now Den Den's here he- and everyone's particularly excited. Yeah. Um, and so then Nancy gets the job. She's Now she's got to assess who needs what. Yeah. And um, Nancy, when she's assessing Kelly Gangs, she basically bases it on how good's the leader. Okay. So the- Gaston. Yeah, Not and great. so this is where Gaston, she's like, Gaston, I don't know if that no. Kelly gang, it's big. Yeah. I mean, there's heaps of, it's a big gang. But. But is it a good gang? Yeah. She's like. Quality over quantity. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the, the Gaston's Kelly gang. Yeah. Uh, and she's like, and I'm in charge, so it's not looking good for you, mm-hmm. Gaston. Whereas Henri the second, she's like, man, you know how to lead a Kelly gang. Yeah. Put me up in a hotel. 
<laughs> you're all right. Um, and so she's working out, right, so you get this much, you get these guns, you get these yeah. explosives. And she's like, Henri II, I'm going to set you up, mate. <laughs> you are going to get some sweet, sweet supplies. Um, and so then Den Den radios. Uh, the first night Den Den tries to radio to London yeah. to say, get Henri II some sweet supplies. Yeah. He unfortunately stuffs it up. Yeah. Den Den. Den Den is mate, not. What's you've going got a on? Job, Den Den. What's going on? He just got the code wrong because you've got to, you know, it's, you can't just yeah. get on your radio whenever you want. It's specific times. Exactly. You've got to have the right codes, the right things. It has to appear at this time in London. Yeah. Uh, and he just blew it. He blew it the first know. night. They were just talking to no one, talking to an empty room. Oh no! Useless. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, so- "Sorry, guys, <laughs> my bad." <laughs> uh, but the second night, success. Okay, cool. He's cool. like, I've double checked. Yeah. They're definitely going to be listening tonight. I'm getting it out there. Uh, Colonel Buckmeister nice. would, have, would have been informed. Someone would have knocked on Buck, Bucky's door <laughs> and they would have given him the code. A frog is croaking in the mountains. Of course it is. A that frog makes so much sense. is croaking in the mountains. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if that's like the most cryptic coded message. I love it. I love that message. I mean, it's simple. It would it's ma- evocative. It would, ma- it would make you smile, though. But if you were intercepting it, say you are like a German in- code interceptor. Yeah. And you were like, oh, they've... Bucky just got a message, the frog is croaking in the mountains. You'd be like, yeah. what's that mean? Frog, French, French. Uh, croak, the frog is croaking in the mountains. There's uh, like a <laughs> message coming out. You know, you're like, I, I reckon it'd give me like yeah. five minutes before I That's crack the true. code. That's and true. I'm just bobbing the French mountains. But it's a little frog. Yeah, I know. You're like, <laughs> I, I, mean, I do love the frogs. Yeah. I mean, I could bomb the mountains. There's so many mountains though. Yeah. Um, it's a good code. <laughs> All right. We'll let it slip. <laughs> um, so Bucky's like, sweet. It's, it's happening. Yeah. Um, they get their shopping list of what they want and then the next night they're all gathered out in the field going, fingers crossed this works. Yeah. Nancy and Trev and Den Den especially are like, if this doesn't work, our welcome is going to be wearing very thin. Yeah. Uh, there's only so much longer they're going to put up with us in, in the hotel yeah. living the high life <laughs> if we're not giving them crates and crepes as sweet crepes. <laughs> <laughs> we're not giving them crepes. Make some crepes, Trev. I've made as many crepes as I can. I'm out of batter. <laughs> so hopefully they've ordered some more batter from yeah, London so I he can make some crepes. I, re- I reckon. They've got crates of crepes. <laughs> um, and so they're waiting in the field. She's yeah. going to be getting like eight crates of explosives, two crates of guns, one crate of money and 18 crates of crepe mixture. Yeah. And, Sounds and, about right. And Trev's like, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they're all like... Out in the field waiting, nothing. Yeah. Oh, no. She's like, this is going poorly. Yeah. But then just after midnight. <gasps> yeah. I mean, it was just after midnight, so it was the wrong day. Yeah. I mean, if they promised supplies the previous day, they did not deliver. No. But just after midnight, they hear the low drone of an aircraft engine coming from the northwest. Okay. Spoilers, that's where England is. Okay. Thank you. It's come all the way from England. Thank you. Geographically, <laughs> it adds up. <laughs> um. And this was followed by cases, uh, crates, crates of armaments, you know, and, and batter, batter and, and crepe, yep. crepe mixture dropping from the skies with parachutes. Nice. Uh, Henri the second. Then Den's like, I can't relate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm not interested. Um, yeah, I, I bet you there's two crates coming by ship. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. like Den Den's personal supplies. Yeah. <laughs> you won't even touch supplies that have been on a parachute. No. Not having it. No. This is. I'm not here for this. That's what Den Den says. Get me some ship crates or I'm out of here. Um, but Henri II and his men are racing around the fields collecting the crates just like children on Easter, Easter oh, Sunday. No, or, or like, um, yeah, and no, then that makes more sense. I was going to say after a piñata, but that's like <laughs> everyone going for the- <laughs> I think they raced around after the crates like Easter egg hunting. Yeah. But then when they got the crates, they smashed them open yeah. like piñatas. Yeah. Mm. No, but I meant like after the piñata when <gasps> all the kids swarmed to get the, the lollies. Is there any more chaotic event <laughs> at a kid's birthday party than when that piñata sprays open? So. I would always wait and then like, oh no. I don't know. I can't remember what I did. <laughs> no, it was a long time ago. Yeah. I like it. I feel like even that wouldn't be last. I mean, with social distancing, no. it's not even happening these no. days. But say, you know, when, in, in normal times, yeah. I feel like the piñata scramble must also be getting phased out of life. Like, what, what, Why is that? 
Oh, you just everything. You know how like past the parcel used to be like one kid one. Yeah, at true. the end, and everyone else was just a complete loser. I, th- I just had like, to suck it up. I like that. Now it's like yeah. okay, the, cut throat. The mum's got to pause it on every kid. I'm yeah, like, nah, every nah. kid gets a lolly now. They like, got it. You know, yeah. it's all very nice, uh, but it's not it's not ruthless like it used no. to be. Whereas the piñata is one of the r- last remaining yeah. ruthless. Every but kid for themselves, sw- whoever can muscle yeah. the other kids out and grab as much as they can, <laughs> they're going to make out like a bandit. And but that I poor scrawny like- kid gets nothing. Oh, don't didn't like someone used to do like. Like they'd break the piñata and then like no one would touch it and then they'd like hand it all yeah. out. I yeah, think that, that's what's going to happen. I feel like that's the future of piñatas. That's so sad. Uh, but if you're out there, uh, yeah. if you're planning to host a kid's party when the world is back to, um, you know, getting people back into the same areas, yeah. <laughs> get ruthless. Yeah, can we buy a piñata and just do it just us two to see who can get the most? <laughs> <laughs> They're hard to crack. Also, just so I can get lollies. <laughs> so what you're saying is can we go buy some lollies? For an experiment, though, it's, it's an experiment. <laughs> we can do it. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I'll. I will win. Uh, don't say that yet. <laughs> Speak to you soon, my friend. Jinx yourself. I guess I might get real exhausted from trying to crack that pinata open. Exactly. And I'm an old man. I'll be like whacking it, but like really not using any of my energy. You'll be and conserving then, it for the scramble. Yeah, and then you'll be like pew pew, and then it will break, and yeah. I'll be like rushing yeah, there, be- like sonic speed. Because no, my um my ego will be trying to flex. Yeah. Like how how good am I at breaking break it, pinatas? Break it first try. <laughs> <clears throat> Smash it. I'm just getting tighter and tighter because yeah. it takes like 18 goes. Yeah. Even with my amazing nah, strength. No, I can get a first try. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the scramble's on. Yeah. And that's when you slide in. I mean, you are nimble. You are dexterous. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm, look. We'll have to settle this. Now. I know. <laughs> I mean, you did win the the epic scissors paper rock. I did. Uh, uh, showdown. Yeah. So. Chances are you've got the edge in the piñata scramble. <laughs> this is our next challenge. And then we have to have a third one to see who wins it all. Best of threes of threes. Yeah. Um, and so Henri the second and his men, back to it. Yes. They uh, they collect all the crates. <laughs> yeah. uh, they, they break them open. They're like, here's some crepe supplies. You take that, Trev. Yeah. He's like, thank you very much. <laughs> um, he just heads straight to the kitchen, starts yeah. whipping up a sweet batch. Yeah. Everyone can smell it. They're like, those crepes smell good. <laughs> Worth it. Um, and there's also, there's, what have we got? We've got explosives, uh, an assortment of automatic weapons. Yes. And also as a bonus present, each drop came with a manual, oh. which translated into French was called How to Use High Explosives. Oh. Isn't that nice? That's so nice. No use sending down no. a bunch of high explosives without a manual exactly. about how to use them high explosives. Exactly. Because things could go real bad. Exactly. Can't play around with high explosives. No. You don't want to be putting high explosives in a piñata in some not. sort of fun game oh. while you're passing the time no. in the Caligan camp. <laughs> no. Um, ex- explosive piñata time. And they're like, is that in the manual? No. Then don't do it. <laughs> right? You're going to blow the camp up. Uh, and so, yeah. So, they've got their manual. They've got their their guns. They've got everything. Now, I don't want you to think that Nancy and Trev and Denden were the only ones out there organizing crates no. for Kelly gangs. No. All over Europe, yeah. there's agents like well, Nancy, that's, that's like sad. Trev, like Denden. Yeah. And they're organizing drops. There is crates dropping Bro. all over Europe. Bro. They reckon the special operations executive, the SA, the SOE yeah. that Nancy works for, as we yeah. know, uh, that during this time they dropped over 650 tons of explosives, 723,000 hand grenades, Jeez. approximately half a million small guns, Whoa. Inclu- uh, including 198,000 rifles, 28,000 little um, uh, pew pews. Bren guns, and 58,000 pistols. Damn. They're dropping Bro. crates all over. Um, and so this is happening, not just Nancy. I don't want anyone to think. I'm not saying no. that Nancy's the only hero here dropping no. crates no. for the Kelly gangs. No. Heaps of unsung heroes that we're not even learning about exactly. now. Exactly. Exactly. They've all got stories. Exactly. Start your own podcast. I know. Find another sweet, sweet <laughs> SOE agent. Do it. Who changed the tide you of wouldn't. the war. You wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> nah. No. We can't do it next de- next season. No. That'd be silly. That'd be foolish. That would be so silly. Uh, we've spent a lot of time. Covering this exact story, yeah, we don't want to do it again. No, even if it is a different story, yeah, could be a more exciting it story. It needs to be someone very different. We need some different. We haven't decided different, yet. Different time zone. I'm still immersed in Nancy yeah, bloody don't, way. Don't think ahead. Can't even live in the now. Dad. I am. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I refuse <laughs> to think ahead. There is no tomorrow. Exactly. I don't mean that in a macabre. We're all you know 
it's the end of the world kind of way. No. Don't think that. No. Why would you think that? That's ridiculous. I just mean, hey, for me here in yeah. the present now, there's only the now. Exactly. There's only this moment. Exactly. I'm not thinking about TikTok dancers now. No. Nope. All right, that don't exist to me now. No. I've never danced. I never <laughs> will dance. I never have danced because I'm not dancing now. And there's only the now. Do you hear what I'm saying? I do hear what you're, you're better, saying. You better because, you know, all I am is a voice now. That's okay. all I am, a voice on yeah, a podcast. exactly. That's all I've ever been. That's all I ever will be because <laughs> yeah. all there is is now. Yeah. I think I've true. made my point. I think you have. <laughs> I mean, that's wild. I can't make it any clearer. No. I refuse to make it any clearer. Okay. Don't make me make it any clearer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just killing time because I lost my spot. That's okay. That, I mean. <laughs> um, and so this is going on. It's all great. Um, Henri the Second's gang is getting the lion's share of yeah. the uh, oh, of yeah. the uh, supplies in the area. Hooked up. Gaston's like, we didn't get much. Yeah. And Nancy's like, yeah, you didn't. Have a think about yeah. that. <laughs> <Have> a- <laughs> He's like, I only got. One crepe. <laughs> yep. uh, and so now, and also, because these supplies have arrived, everyone's like, how good is Nancy Bloody Wake? Yeah, yeah. Trev's making pancakes. Yeah. Den's on the radio. Nancy Wake's deciding who gets what. <laughs> and we're getting heaps. Yeah. So Henri II's like, mate, yeah, we respect you. Uh, yeah. We respect you. <laughs> um, and so now they're living with Henri II's camp. That Unfortunately, they've had to move out of the hotel. That's okay. She's like, you're not even like... We're not even going to pretend you're like a special, special separate entity now. You're yeah. one of the gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like, I will give up the hotel if I can be one of the gang. Yeah. And also, they've got to spend their time training these Kelly gang yeah. members how to use these things. That's true. Because, you know, just because you've got a manual doesn't mean you're going to be able to no, no, no. blow up a Need bridge. guidance like you with our TikTok dances. Exactly. I can't just watch a TikTok dance and do a TikTok not dance. Not everyone can be me. No, like, I honestly. need... I need you are the Nancy Wake of TikTok. Yeah. As okay. far as I'm concerned. Okay. <laughs> I'm the Kelly gang. TikTok dances are explosives and you're Nancy Bloody Wake. Okay. All right. The analogy is sound <laughs> and I've never felt more sure of an analogy in my whole life. Whoa. Because you only live in the now. That's right. <laughs> there are no other analogies. It's the only analogy. Don't push me too much on me living in the now, because I do often talk about things that have happened and things that will happen. So hey, judge me if you will. But I'm often <laughs> Wrong. But not right now. And there is only now. So suck it. <laughs> and now Nancy's living out with them. Yeah. Uh, she starts laying down some ground rules for this Kelly gang okay. as well. Uh, she's like, I love stealing stuff. <laughs> we all love stealing stuff. Yeah. But new rule. Okay. Nancy Wake rule number one, we don't steal from Frenchies. Frenchers. No. <laughs> we don't steal from French people is what I was trying to say, yeah. but I got real confused. <laughs> Frenchers. We don't steal from Frenchers. We don't steal from Frenchers. <laughs> we don't steal from French people, all right? Uh, we can steal from the Germans. Oh, any day. Every day. <laughs> it's a crime if you don't steal from the Germans. Yeah. <laughs> but if I catch you <gasps> stealing from the French farmers in this area, <sighs> from the French businesses, man, what are we even fighting for? Nothing. Nancy Wake's like. If, you, if I catch you stealing, <laughs> I'm going to bring you in to my tent and you're going to have to look in the mirror for half an hour and have yeah. a good long hard look at yourself and ask, what am I <laughs> trying to achieve out here in the mountains? I couldn't remember where they were. I was like, <laughs> I was like the outskirts. The, the, um, <laughs> and so, look, she's laid down the law and yeah. everyone's like, we get it. Okay. I'm happy to steal from Germans. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to tell us twice. In fact... What are you doing now? Let's go steal some stuff. She's and like, I was, me up. thought you'd never ask. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, and so everyone's happy with that. Everyone yeah. is very pleased with that. Um, and so they steal stuff. They also they get very good at foraging. Yeah. Uh, they love a forage. Um, forage. And during this period, yes, it's like um, it's like that part in the feel good sports film where everyone's getting along real good. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, on yeah. a winning streak. We know that. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone's learning. There's the montage where they're all learning how to shoot their guns. Yeah. They're all learning how to blow up bridges. Everyone's high five. Everyone's high five. So can't do that now. Don't. <laughs> yeah, they, they could back then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the one benefit the of this robot. war. You could yeah. still high five. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so everyone's getting along. They're, um, they're helping the French because they're like spending, they're getting money from London. They're spending yeah. it in the local French businesses. Oh, everyone's feeling like. It. 
they're doing a great job. They're going on little stealing raids from the Germans. Yeah. Loving that. Um, and so, yeah, this is the part of the film where everyone's getting along real good. Exactly. And then we cut to Gaston's camp. They're like, we've got no guns. Oh, what's going on? Where are all Why have they got all the rifles? <laughs> and everyone's like, it's because you're a real dingus. <laughs> you're a real dingus, Gaston. Why couldn't you be nice to Nancy bloody whack? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, this is it. And uh, everyone's getting along. Everyone loves everyone in this camp. Yeah. Not Gaston's camp. Everyone yeah. in uh, Henri the Second's camp thinks Nancy's pretty bloody great. Yes. Um, we better leave uh, this episode there. Oh, not a bad They've episode. established themselves yeah. in Henri the Second's Cali gang. They've established a supply line. Yep. Things are looking up. The oh, uh, I love how Trev still made his way into this part of the <laughs> podcast. Just, Whoa. Mate. And I think the fact that they've got a steady supply of crepes yeah. means that this Henri the Second's Kelly Gang has an edge. Yeah. Oh. A huge edge. Definitely. See, no, th- now, I made it clear that Nancy wasn't the only one getting crates dropped, but yeah. they were the only ones getting crepes. Crates of crepe supplies crepes. dropped. They were the only ones that thought of that. Yeah, and they were the only ones that had Trev there. That's well. That's what Trev brings to the table. Exactly. Nancy wouldn't have bothered with crepe supplies. No, she was gone. No, no, we can get more guns. Yeah. And Trev's like, "No, you've got to believe in me. <laughs> you've got to trust me, Nancy. This is gonna, this is gonna make or break us. Okay, <laughs> crepes. It's the secret ingredient to success." <laughs> And who's to say that no, was wrong? No, he's like, okay, Trev. Yeah. I, I believe in you. <laughs> because all through this montage, while they're going, we cut to Trev. He's in yeah. there. Tss, yeah. Flipping, flipping. He flips, man. He doesn't use a, he doesn't use a spatula. No, I can do that. Yeah, he flips. Yeah. Never drops it. No, actually, I can do it with an egg, not a pancake. Uh, nope. No crepe fails. No. Not for Trev. Not on the roof. He's like, he's gone high, not touching the roof though. Nah, because yeah. he's outside. Yeah, I was thinking about in the hotel when they were still in the hotel because that's where he started. Yeah, and then he got good. Yeah, <laughs> and now he's out there in the open air, just flipping. And he's because yeah. he's got no roof, he can do like oh, um, can, huge flips. He can do tricks. With he's, them. he's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. a pancake Olympics. People people sit around like that's their entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Like should we go watch Trev cook some crepes? Yeah. Should we go and watch uh, the crepe man? Oh, the crepe man is he cooking crepes? Let's go watch him. He's incredible. <laughs> Uh, so look, there's a lot happening, yeah. um, and they're about to. Right now, they're in training mode. Yeah, but mate, what are you trained for? <laughs> you train exactly. so you can get down to business. Exactly. And I feel like they're on the verge of getting down to business. I feel like they are as well on on their crepe fueled mission to succeed. <laughs> um, so let's find out how this all develops, if you don't mind, as we delve deeper into the quarantine years uh, <laughs> and we find more about Nancy Wake, Trev, Den Den, Henri II, Gaston, the Keller gang uh, um, and their battle against the, the Nazi scourge in World <laughs> War II in the next episode of Yonks Ago! Yonks Ago!